What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, we are back in the Iconic Studios. Back with another early look, man. But before we get started with this video, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feast, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and all the early looks. Thank y'all for watching, man. Not gonna waste any time. Let's get into it. Boom, and we have a package directly, directly from Finish Line. Um, this shoe did drop early, uh, so this is definitely an early look. Um, I haven't seen any shoes in stores locally my way, uh, especially with like being back to, school, uh, back to school time. So these shoes probably did land like in little spots, but I haven't seen anything and I don't even know if there's an official release date yet. I just know they dropped these early on Foot Locker, uh, JD Sports, and I believe Finish Line. And shout out to Soul Links. I'm telling y'all, man, make sure y'all download Soul Links app, J23 app. Make sure y'all follow them on Twitter, J23 app, and um, Soul Links. Um, because that's how I hit this shoe. I, I went for it the first time, didn't hit. And then I, I doubled back when they dropped again on Finish Line, and I got them. So we're going ahead and get rid of the box because we don't need that at all. Boom, we have it here, a Nike box. You already know that infamous red box. Infamous, infamous, infamous red box. You already know what's going on. You already know what time it is, baby. Uh, let me go ahead and read the box level, y'all. Box level reads, Air Griffey Max 1. Colorway on this joint is black, multicolor, fresh water, nor uh, cool, cooler, and multiple. Retail on this joint was 170. I still feel like these shoes are kind of overpriced in my opinion. Um, Cause I remember, man. I, I swear I remember these shoes like 140, 130 back in like 2011, 10, maybe. But almost 200 is kind of pricey for it. But it has that Air Max technology, so I guess it's a given pull. But anyway, man, size 11, personal pair. Uh, hopefully, after I review these and do that on feet, I still like them. Here is the box label for anybody that's trying to see anything. Let me make sure I get that right for y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh. Here's the box label, y'all. Red, there, red, there. For anybody that's trying to see it, see what's going on. It's your standard box label, y'all. Standard box label. Go ahead and flip the lid. Ooh, wax paper. Standard wax paper. You're going to always get that wax paper in most of these Nike Dunk shoes. Nothing fancy at all. Now we're going to flip down the paper. And yes, sir. Wow. Boom. We have it here. The Air Max Griffey. One. And the fresh water colorway. Strange, huh? Because they just dropped the OG a while back in a freshwater colorway, and this one is maybe the home, maybe this the way. No, this might be the home. I don't know. I don't know. I always got kind of confused with that. But yes, here's that freshwater colorway. Um, I remember seeing a video, right, where Tony D was like, "Oh, I don't know about those freshwaters, but here's the freshwaters right here, bro." No cap, don't get me wrong. These hard, but them OGs 20 times better. And I mean that, 20 times better. But here it is, man. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Let me show it off. Show it off, show it off. First glance, man. First glance, I'm liking it. Liking it, liking it. It's definitely bringing back memories of high school, bro. High school was definitely a time to be alive for Griffey's. But Griffey's was going crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And um, I definitely just think... It's just, it's, it's just fire, bro. It's just fire. Just kind of that, definitely that reminiscent of the 90s, like always. I tell you, I love that type of vibes every single time, man. Uh, let me do a quick review, y'all. The bottom is right here. You do have uh, basically your standard Griffey Max bottom. Um, you do have the baseball with the flame right here in the plate, which is very nice. You got your red swoosh right here in the middle. And you got your hits of white, black, and fresh water. Work your way to the midsole. Midsole is mostly black with your little white hits in the pod area. Um, I think the air unit is, looks like the air unit is like white. Is it white or gray? Yeah, it looks like white or gray in the air unit. It's not popping like that other one. I know the other one has actual teal in a freshwater shoe, but yeah, it has a white in the actual, white or gray in the actual air unit itself. Again, wraps all the way around the sneaker right here. And I, I, again, I think that's where that price point of 170 is coming from. Work your way to the upper, man. Upper has this black nubuck, black nubuck wrapped around it all the way. 
And also you have that fresh water or what I would say like that emerald green or teal wrapped around it as well. Now it does uh, differ from the OG. It does have the white swoosh right there. So I thought that was a dope touch to it. It does come with white laces. I don't know why I remember these being, why do I remember these having black laces? I feel like I did, but maybe I'm tripping, but it does come with white laces, um, nylon tongue, same old, same old. You do have that 20, 24 right here on the strap area. That is uh, Ken Griffey's number. Um, you pull that apart, um, pull that apart, same old, same old again. Tongue right here, you do have that Nike swoosh right there on the tongue, hopefully that focuses. Yeah, you got the Nike swoosh right there on the tongue. Um, you got this nice white and red outline uh, swoosh on the back of the shoe. Um, what else, what else, what else? You do have Nike going across right here. It's kind of faint, you can barely see it, but if the light hits it perfect, you can see the Nike right there on the strap. And um, again, man, it's just a very dope shoe. If you kind of are into like trainers or just that old school feel when it comes to like Nike turf, um, you can't go wrong with this. Price point is a little steep in my opinion, almost 200, but um, these are tanks though. They last, they last, they last for sure. Here's a little insert, nothing crazy about that. It's the shoe tree, same old, same old shoe tree. Very cheap, nothing crazy at all. I'm trying to see how the insole looks. All right, so this is the insole right here, y'all. Insole is black with the white Nike Air. Flip it on the back side, that's how it looks. Very firm. Uh, and so it looks comfortable. It's not really flat and thin, but it, it's not, it's nothing too crazy, it's nothing to go crazy about, but it's not too flat, you know what I mean? It's not too flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in there. And I think I'm gonna get y'all on feet, man. Y'all want on feet? I think I'm gonna get y'all on feet. Before I do the on feet though, I wanna do a quick comparison between this one and the OG. Give me just one moment. All right, boom, we have it here, the OG, and boy, let me tell you, bro, I love this shoe. It's so comfortable. I've worn this shoe a million times. I'm not getting rid of it, right? I had the kind of like Sprite colorway, that Volk in blue, electric blue colorway, but I got rid of those, man. I wasn't really, I like them, but I just felt like I never was gonna wear them, so I got rid of them, right? But I feel like with this, I'm gonna have to keep these, bro. I'm gonna have to keep these because just look at it. Um, this is the OG, or maybe they both OGs. Don't don't quote me on it, bro. I'm not too big on the baseball knowledge, bro. But the colorways I remember seeing the most was this one, this one, that Cincinnati red, and that Volt blue. Now I still want the Cincinnati reds uh, whenever those drop, cause I definitely need those. Those were fire with that red hit all the way around. But as far as like a comparing and contrast to this shoe, right? It's basically the same shoe but opposite, right? So where the the white is, the white is in the pot areas. Uh, the black, like you see it, like where the basically kind of how the um, midsole, midsole is the same. Where it's black, it's white. Where the white is black, you know, same thing, same thing going on right there. Uh, same black swoosh right there, white swoosh right there. Um, mostly black upper, but you have white in there as well. You got the white 24 right there for Ken Griffey's number. Same thing on this one as well. Back piece, um, instead of it being wrapped in red, it's wrapped in that green, emerald green, and this one is wrapped in the red. Um, as you can see, those little hits of emerald right there on the tab, and then you got that full hit of emerald all the way wrapping around the shoe. Now, again, I don't remember seeing these with white laces. I, I think I'm tripping though, but I definitely don't remember seeing white laces in these, but then again, I might just be, might just been a long time since I actually saw the shoe. Uh, personally, when I say comfort level, bro, 10 out of 10, for sure, 10 out of 10. Um, if you have narrow feet, you probably can go true to size. I personally have wider feet, and this shoe is shaped weird. Um, like, I think I explained this before, like this shoe actually like, you foot, put your foot in it, but it slopes like this, like literally how it's designed, is how your foot is in it, right? And when you walk, it's like a weird feeling as well. And um, I think having a size 11, which is, a half size up from my true size has made this shoe so comfortable and wearable for hours. Like I don't, I can wear this all day and the day after that and the day after that, how comfortable this shoe is, bro. Because that's so much support in it, especially with me being the heavier dude right now and um, me having a wider foot, this shoe for comfort wise is a 10 out of 10. But I know for a fact, bro, y'all not here to um, just see me ramble and go on about the shoe. 
But what I am gonna do as far as on feet wise, I'm gonna do that in a whole separate video just because I wanna make sure that um, I focus more on the actual sneaker itself. It's definitely a dope, 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 dope shoe. And I wanna know from y'all what y'all think about this in the comments, man. I was gonna do it on feet in this video, but I'm gonna just save it for the next video. Literally gonna be the next video uh, where I'm just gonna do it on feet. And I wanna know from y'all, man, are y'all feeling the Air Max Griffey one and uh, maybe alternate freshwater colorway? Um, I definitely, I definitely love the shoe, bro. I definitely love the shoe. I was already like, man, I'm gonna just try it on, see how it look. I might send it back, but it's giving me those vibes, bro. It's giving me those vibes. Um, I'm just excited for these as I was for the OGs. And as you can see, the OGs have been worn, have been beat up, man. But I love them, man. I love them. And it's a shoe that even when it's beat up, it doesn't look bad as long as you don't like thrash them. Like it's no crazy creases in it. The black is still there. Like I wear them. I've worked in these, but. I still know how to like double back on it and make it a little bit like look presentable. So again, now I wanna know from y'all what y'all think about the shoe. What y'all think about this man for an early look? Is it hot, is it not? Let me know in the comments, are y'all ready for the on feet? Are you looking to cop this shoe? A lot of people aren't really fans of the chunky, bulky, turf, uh, trainer-esque 90 shoes, but this is my vibe. As you can see, I'm always on the 90s vibes. I'm always with the 90s tees. And these right here are a for sure cop in my opinion. Uh, these are supposed to release this month. When, I don't know, but I will dig deep and keep trying to find information on it. That way I can give you that information when it comes up. Cause I gotta keep y'all laced with the latest sneaker news. But uh, just keep a lookout online again. Pay attention, pay attention, listen, 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 listen. Download the J23 app and Solings app. They're not paying me for this. I'm just letting you know how you can possibly hit for a shoe like this before release date. Like these have no release date yet and they just started sprinkling them online. Like they did all of them. Like when the Barclays came out, they did the same thing. The Pippins came out, they did the same thing. Pretty much all the OG shoes like this, they doing that first. They dropping online most likely. Nike's like, let's sell out online. And then we have a release date for it and then that'd be it. But Definitely, definitely, definitely. I know people love the Jackie Robinson versions. Um, pretty much more than the OGs, which I've been hearing, but I love the OGs. OGs are up there now, bro, like 350. Crazy how fast that shoe jumped up. And um, I definitely can see this colorway jumping up like that sooner or later. Um, but again, very fire shoe. Let me hear from y'all in the comments what y'all think. Is it a cop? Is it a drop? Is it something that you need in your collection? I think I need it in mine. But again, that's another story for another day. Thank y'all for watching, man. We are officially done with this video, this sneaker. Before y'all go, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feast, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.